Hello, my name is Michael Puro, and I'm going to be showing how to do a 3D uh, CFD analysis of a nozzle using ANSYS Fluent. Um, we're going to start using the 2D nozzle that we made in the previous video in SolidWorks. So when we open this 2D nozzle, we're going to uh, delete the planner surface that we made and edit the sketch. And we're going to trim all of the entities at the bottom. And we're going to connect this line right there. Um, now, because we already have all our dimensions made, um, just fully define the sketch. Shouldn't change anything. Um, we'll click rebuild. Now we can revolve this. Oops. We click revolve. We're going to use uh, sketch two and we're going to revolve it um, about the line that we drew. And SolidWorks will draw a nice 360 degree revolution around that line. So all we have to do is click OK and we have our 3D cone nozzle. Now, once that's all drawn, we'll open Workbench and drag out the Fluent box. And we'll import that part file, have it saved as 3D cone nozzle, and we'll open up Mesh. Okay, um, I'm gonna do a very uh, easy mesh. We're just gonna do the automatic mesh. Um, if you need to be more accurate, you can further define your mesh, but so we'll click generate. And now we have this very coarse mesh right here. Um, and now we can define our boundary conditions using the main selections. Uh, we have our inlet. and our outlet. And now we will select all of the faces on, on the nozzle for the wall. And we'll name it the wall. And now all of our boundary conditions are set up. Go back to workbench update the mesh, and we'll open the setup. A bunch of the fluent part of this will be pulled exactly from the 2D fluent, which is nice. The only difference is that this is a 3D, not 2D. So just as we did in the 2D, we'll turn on the energy model, and we'll make it invested flow. Um, and we're going to change the properties of this fluid. We'll call it rocket fluid. We'll use an ideal gas. The specific constant um, was calculated earlier, and we were given the molecular weight, so we'll change those. And now we can set up the fluent boundary conditions. Um, we have a pressure inlet, 9.8 MPa. And then it's important to put this into the to gauge total pressure and supersonic initial gauge pressure. You can put them into both or else it won't work. And we were giving the total temperature as well. We'll click apply. Um, our outlet 
we'll just go to uh, atmospheric air at sea level. And apply. Uh, and now we can go to monitors and change the residuals. Okay. Lastly, we're going to use the standard initialization and compute from the inlet. And now that the in initialization is complete, we can run the calculation and we're going to run it for 200 iterations. So we just click calculate and it'll take a little bit to calculate because we made our monitors um, very accurate. So I will be right back once the calculation is complete. Okay, so we actually had a solution converge um, before uh, 200 iterations even completed. So that's good news. Um, so all we have left to do for this simulation is to look at the contours. Um, look at the velocity contour. And we can see that our nozzle is looking really nice. Can look at Mach number. See that the Mach number is about one at the throat, which is what we designed for. And yeah, um, for the, if you wanted to do a bell nozzle, you would just repeat the same exact steps by revolving it in SOLIDWORKS and then um, using, putting in the same parameters into Fluent. So thank you.